How to fix the regularity issue in a simple table. Hi everyone, today we're gonna resolve a regularity issue coming up in this simple table. First, I'm gonna take a look at my results from my accessibility full check. Here, I can see that I have one issue under tables. It's the regularity has failed. Now what does that mean exactly? This means that the table in your document does not have the same number of table cells in each row, or there is an extra row. Somewhere, the math isn't adding up, and that can cause problems when the table is read by the screen reader. Now this is an issue we can see and resolve in our tags panel. Let's click on tags and open up the table tag. Now we will click and open up the first table row. We clearly see that this row has four header cells. If we check our table, we can confirm this is the correct number of header cells. Let's open up the next table row. Here, we can see four data cells. So far, everything is adding up. Finally, if we open up the third row, we can see that there are five data cell tags. This is what's making the regularity be an issue in this table. Now we can clearly see an extra tag, but to confirm this is the issue, we will click on our reading order panel and right click on the table. Select table editor. This will show us the cells in our table using red outlines. Don't be alarmed if the lines don't align with the cell borders. This is normal as long as we can see that our table rows have an even number of data cells. If we look closely, we can see an extra data cell. This extra data cell is in the third row. This confirms what we already had seen in our tags for the third row. Let's go back to the extra data cell and right click on it. Select delete tag. Now we will check our accessibility results again to see if the issue has been resolved. Right click on the regularity issue and select check again. This issue has been resolved. Great work. Have any questions on this video? Submit them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.